Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube page. I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I'm sharing my seven outfit ideas for a very laid back and relaxed workplace. Um, just kind of my take on what I would wear to the office. I haven't worked in an actual office since 2017, but I feel like since COVID hit, a lot of places are more laid back and relaxed. So this is just kind of my take on what I would wear to the office. So if you're interested in seeing all the outfits that I've created today, then let's get on with the video. All right, so we're going to start off with the first outfit and this outfit is styled mainly around this midi skirt i love that this skirt has pleats and it's got some dainty floral details so since the skirt is such a big statement i'm going to tone down the outfit um, and then i'm just kind of letting the skirt do all the talking so i paired the skirt with this black turtleneck sweater black bag bag black belt and black boots sheesh that's a lot of b words but yeah just a very comfortable sophisticated outfit it's perfect for that laid back workplace and i feel like this is also a really good look for um you know a teacher i definitely see a teacher or if i was a teacher i definitely see myself wearing that so yeah just another cute little outfit idea for a laid back workplace outfit number two this is my lazy girl outfit it's so easy to recreate and i just feel like it's very minimal um it's just very practical very functional and very comfortable overall um i started off with these black trousers from h&m these are my favorite pair of trousers because you can easily dress this up and dress them down and then i'm just pairing that with a very basic sweater this is also from h&m and again i feel like this can easily be dressed up or dressed down and then i'm just kind of taking this outfit to an to the next level by pairing it with these black chunky loafers i think a pair of loafers are a must in your workwear wardrobe they'll instantly spice up any outfit give you that extra level of like sharpness and add some sort of like preppiness slash like oh i'm so well put together and i've got money look i don't know i just feel like loafers are one of those pieces that kind of scream rich but like not really but like really i don't know if that makes sense but yeah i just like them and then i again finish off the look with the same back from my previous um outfit outfit number three this is my girly girl outfit this is for my soft girly girls out there i am taking my blush pink silk satin dress and i honestly like stopped wearing this and i don't know why but i finally pulled it out of my closet and i've been wearing it non-stop um so in this case i am wearing this dress as a skirt i just put on this chunky um sweater and i'm kind of sticking to the same family line going with like lighter with lighter and then i'm adding a little bit of contrast to my look with the same chunky loafers and then um the same bag from my previous outfits and i just love how like fun and practical and preppy this outfit is again i feel like this is a great look for a teacher or um someone who just loves dressing up but also wants to kind of like keep keep things on the dl doesn't want to like be super bold bold at work love it all right, moving on to outfit number four. This is for my girlies who want to keep things professional at work, who want to look business casual, who want to look chic, who want to look smart, and just overall sophisticated. Um, I am simply just kind of upgrading the trousers for a pair of leather pants and then i'm wearing a black turtleneck layered over a blazer blazers are a must have everybody knows that so don't forget to layer on your blazer and then finishing off the look with the same loafers and then this beige be uh, bag from beachy doll um doll or dolls i don't know i can't remember but yeah just a very practical outfit for someone who wants to keep it professional who wants to look chic who wants to look stylish at work and yeah Okay, moving on to outfit number five. This is for all my girlies who like color. Um, I am trying to be one of those girlies and I, I don't know, we're getting there. But I am just wearing a red turtleneck sweater. This is more on the oversized slash loose side and I styled it with a pair of beige pants. Um, and then to create a little bit of contrast, I'm adding some black accessories like these black booties and this black bag. And overall, a very functional, comfortable, minimal outfit in my opinion. All right, moving on to outfit number seven and still sticking to the trouser trend, I am wearing a pair of green plaid 
trousers. I, I'm i getting crazy out here now. I'm just joking. This is not crazy at all. Uh, I, I just like these pants because I feel like this is a great way to add color and print to your outfit without feeling overwhelmed because everything is so subtle. And just to keep things even more subtle, I'm just going to style these pants with very neutral basics so like this beige slash brown jumper from zara the, this black belt that i thrifted um i believe and then these booties from naturalizer and then the same bag and i think it's a very sophisticated outfit it's very smart casual you could even wear this to a business casual workplace um correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like this this is something that you can wear to you know a more quote unquote professional place i'm loosely saying the word professional people just don't come for me lastly we're gonna spice it up a little bit with a sweater dress and i love a sweater dress because again you can dress this up dress it down wear it for date nights wear it out with friends with a pair of sneakers and it's perfect but in this situation i am dressing it up for a workplace um, i am styling a pair of sheer pantyhose with it um, and then i put a belt around the waist to kind of give my body some form and some structure and then layering over this tweed um, blazer from h&m same black bag and then these boots again from naturalizer very very comfortable guys but yeah a very fun practical girly flirty outfit for the workplace um not really like flirty but like you know what i mean So this just about rounds up my video. I hope this video was helpful and useful. Just a disclaimer again, my take on what I would wear to the office. If you do work in a place where, you know, the office um, uniform or the attire is a little bit more on the business casual or um, formal side, then please be sure to make those changes based on your workplace. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care.